Mr. Franklin, I'm Natalie Teeger. I'm Julie's mother. Oh, yes. I remember you from parents' night. Excuse the mess. We've been making volcanoes. Did you tell Julie she couldn't bring her fish to the science fair? Yes, I did. Mrs. Teeger, sit, please. Or stand, that's fine. Mrs. Teeger, you need to understand I teach science, not science fiction. I can't approve a project if a student is just making things up. Are you saying Julie is lying? I don't know what to say. I've seen Julie's fish. It's an ordinary crimson marble fish. She said she'd had it since she was five. Yeah, that's right. That's impossible. A marble fish lives a year, year and a half at most. Either Judy's mistaken or she's trying to pull a fast one. Either way, I have an obligation to my other students. What are you doing? Well, I wasn't happy with the way this OK, you know, it doesn't matter. Play. What do you call a guy who studies fish? An ichthyologist. That's what you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I really don't think I am. Yeah, for the next five minutes, you are. I need you to tell Julie's teacher that a marble fish can live longer than two years, OK? Wait a minute. What? Wait, Natalie. Wait a second. Wait. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, I can't lie. Uh, I'm not good at it. I got lucky with that Tic Tac thing. Are you a man? Am I a? Are you a man? Yes. Then you can lie. That's what men do. Mr. Franklin? Uh, when Julie told me about your problem, I called Berkeley and talked to the science department and found my own expert. This is Professor Larry Tilburn. Uh, he was kind enough to meet me here this morning. Hi. Hello. He's an ichthyologist. He's world renowned. Has written just a page turner of a book on freshwater fish. Really? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Freshwater Fish by Larry Tilburn. Great title. Uh, I tried to read it and just forget it. <laughs> Professor? Professor Tilburn? Professor Tilburn? Mr. Franklin here doesn't think that Julie's fish, you know, the one that I showed you, could live longer than a year or two. What do you think? I think it can. I don't see how. It's a common variety marble fish. It has a minuscule genome size and almost no immune system. Let's go. Let's get out of here. That's true. That's true about most marble fish. But this is a completely different species. This is the North Korean marble fish. North Korean? Very strong fish. It's a very tough fish. Would have to be to to live in a country like uh, North, North Korea. Korea. Right. This fish could live for, oh my God, three or four years, four and a half, or five, or six. Mm -hmm. Or six, six, that's it, six years. I'd like to read you a book. What, what did you say your name was? Tilburn. Larry. T I L B U R. Okay, 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 okay. The truth is, it's not the same fish. Yes, it is. Sure, it is. Let it go. I've replaced it every year. Julie's dad gave it to her before he died. Now, I don't have the heart to tell her the truth, it's all that she has left of him. So, Mr. Franklin, if you want to call that little girl and tell her that the fish that she's been talking to and praying to for the last six years is dead, then you know what? Go ahead. I'll dial it for you. OK, OK. I, I didn't know. She can bring the fish to the science fair. If you like, I'll even swing by your house later and pick up the aquarium. Thank you. But I can't give her an award. Mr. Franklin, she doesn't need an award. She just needs to make it through middle school without falling apart. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You really are the worst liar in the whole world. I tried to tell me that. An honest man. Who'd have thunk it? Come on, Larry. I'll take you.
qui rentre. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's